Hi, I'm Rory and in this video we'll take a look at how Studio can be used in a kind of dynamic lockdown situation. So firstly, here we have our Studio project which shows us a layout of a building and it has various PA zones and intercoms and door control. But also in certain areas there are panic alarms. So if somebody was to press a panic alarm, something like this would happen. I'll just acknowledge the alarm. So what has happened is this area has informed me that there is an issue. It has brought up a CCTV view so that I can see the area. And it's asked me if I want to enter lockdown mode. So in this case, I'm going to say yes. Test message. Please ignore. This is a security announcement. The building is now in lockdown. So firstly, the operator needs to make the decision as to whether it is a genuine threat or a false alarm. If they press false alarm, it will reset the system and automatically send out a reassurance message to let everybody know the situation is resolved. However, if they press genuine threat, the system will continue to guide them. So the first message here is to inform them to call the police. This is completely customizable depending on the type of process in place. But here we have, please contact the police and press continue. Okay, so in this process, it is required that automatically an email and an SMS text are sent to specific people. Again, this could be that the operator selects who to send a message to and actions it manually. If we continue, the next part is all about the actual lockdown. If it's not automated and it's manual like it is in this case, here we have some simple buttons to really help the operator stay calm, assess the situation and resolve it in the best way they possibly can. Here are three options per room. The first option shows the CCTV view for that room. The second option locks every door to that area. And the third option is just an administrative tick to give them confirmation that they've cleared the area. Let me show you. Let's say we look at the kitchen first. We see the CCTV footage of the kitchen. We can see that there's no one there. We can tick this off that we're happy that this area is okay. We can press lock and secure it as well. So next we can go to the main office and we can check this area. Again, tick and we can lock it down. Once we're ready to move on, we just press continue and the system explains to us, use the access control and the PA control to see the situation out. So if I press continue, this will take us back to the main screen and we can see where we've locked down in those areas. And we also now have the ability to lock doors just by simply clicking on them and the ability to select an area and choose a message and just send that message out to that zone. Test message, please ignore. The police are on their way. When you are ready and you're completely satisfied that the situation is now fully under control, you can just simply press end lockdown. Test message, please ignore. This is a security update announcement. The building is no longer in lockdown. Thank you. The message is now sent out to all the relevant zones and the system is back to normal.